Well, June 2nd will be the anniversary of the day that a bunch of people released from WWE. Braun well, Strowman. I, I, I think every week, every week is the anniversary of something like this now. Yes, Braun Strowman, Elster Black, Lana, Murphy, Ruby Riot, and Santana Garrett all released. What do you make of all of this? Well, I mean, everything's different. I mean, obviously, you know, they're they're cutting back. And uh, those, were the, you know, I mean, they made a list. And these were guys that Vince decided that he when he's got nothing for him. And so that's who he decided to cut. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people were surprised by Strowman. Um, I think that the, the couple got, of things. He's got nothing for them. He's got nothing for them. I, th- I think there, you, you, you could have cut 30 guys. Well, these were the six he chose. I think Strowman got hurt. There's a couple of things that hurt Strowman. I mean, number one was his salary. I mean, it's one thing when you're paying like $250,000 for somebody that you um, do very little with, but you can always have him run around and do 24-7 gimmick stuff, right? But you really can't put Strowman in that thing, so you can't do anything with him. And the big, the big problem, I mean, he's got a, a huge paycheck. You know, you know, I mean, he had a big contract, which... Um, I should probably talk about that for a second. One of the things that, you know, he made a big mistake on, um, and only the top guys are going to be able to pull this one off, but he was a top guy when he signed his contract. If you are a top guy, this is a lesson. Do not assume that Vince loves you and he'll always take care of you. Um, you would think that, and I'm sure that at the time Strowman signed his contract, he thought that, but there are guys and there are not many of them, but there are guys that are top guys. And when they sign these multi-year contracts for big money, um, they do be, they have been able to get no cut deals and, um, they know a couple people have told me you, you know, these top guys, they just sit there and they sign whatever. You know, Vince puts in front of him, and Vince has the right to, you know, yeah, he guarantees you seven figures a year, but he can cut you at any time he wants. Um, when when you're a middle guy, you're not going to be able to get away with that. You can't, you're not going to get that. He's just going to say no. But when you're a top guy, um, you can get it, but you're going to have to push for it, and you're going to have to fight for it, and you're, and you know, because you're, you're not necessarily always going to be a top guy, because the problem with Strowman was that um this is the the thing we when um you know a couple weeks ago when we were talking about all the giants on raw and all you know bringing in aziz and all these guys and that all of a sudden braun Strowman at a legitimate six foot six when you've got almost who's the new toy who's seven foot three and then you've got the um, what's the other guy the shanky dude with whether he sticks around or not almost was there almost made the size braun Strowman's big thing was is that he had size and power but now they're going with a new giant and so he became um he wasn't you know he can't be the giant anymore when you got this guy who's legitimately nine inches taller than him um i mean granted strowman has got the big body and everything like that but you can only you know what i mean you can you can do the the giant thing when you're the giant of the company uh, on the brand but he isn't that guy anymore and like with big show if you remember when big big show when stroman came big show was obsolete now of course they put big show in there with with stroman to get stroman over because big show was a good enough worker to work at some pretty good matches with stroman um the problem is is that almost is not as good as stroman and stroman is not close to as good as big show and so the the big thing before you know under other circumstances when if they were going to make this cut what they would do is is they would book stroman in there with almost and have almost beat him and then they would cut big show i mean um stroman the problem is is that you think about that and you you know what the problem is and you know why they didn't do it it doesn't take a, a brain surgeon to come up with a reason why because it would absolutely totally suck so anyway they got big guys there you can't be the giant He's not versatile enough to be something but the giant, uh, the giant monster, and had that big contract. And basically, it was expressed to me, and you know, is that he was two years past his peak, and he was getting high salary, and 
that was the issue with him, you know, with, with Aleister Black and Buddy Murphy. Yeah, but what about that period where all of a sudden everyone was worried about AEW and so you were getting signed to deals that were worth double what you would have gotten? Well, I mean, there's a lot of people on much higher salaries right now that they're also doing nothing with. So it would seem uh, higher, to me... Higher, higher salaries with him that they're doing nothing with? I mean, they're doing... Well, not higher salaries than Braun Strowman. I'm saying higher salaries than they're probably worth. Well, everyone's underpaid there, so you can't really say worth because if you go by sports worth, everyone there is underpaid. Well, not if you even 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 Alistair even Black, who did nothing for seven months. Yeah, but he and he, you know, his thing wasn't salary wise. His thing was that Vince didn't get, you know, Vince, Vince, Vince. You know, you got to remember Vince. You know, I mean, it's 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 a funny thing um, because in the last couple of years, I you know, and and really, this was this a lot of this was AEW. Um, and when I watch AEW, you know, I mean, I can watch AEW because, you know, again, I grew up with all these different styles, so I'm not like a slave to a certain style. And there's only one way is the right way and all that bullshit because that's bullshit. OK, but I know people who who, you know, are younger than me and and my age and things like that. And I mean, it was really clear to me that that they will never get no matter what. I mean, no matter what you and I see, they will never get certain guys in AEW. And I mean, I, and these are top, the top guys there. They won't get them because it was not what they grew up with. It's a different thing. And when you veer from that, it just, you're just not going to get it. And Vince is, you know, Vince is one of those guys. I mean, Vince never, you know, one of the reasons so many people fail in WWE, and I mean, and everyone will tell you this, is that Vince has a very narrow view of what he thinks wrestling in the ring is. And Aleister Black style is not what Vince thinks wrestling is. Um, Buddy Murphy style which is very similar to Kenny Omega, is not what Vince McMahon thinks wrestling is. And I'll tell you what, you know, a lot of people, you know, think about, oh, you know, what if Kenny Omega had made that move? And I can tell you, you know, just because when I watch with AEW, unless he completely changed his style to a Vince style, and maybe he would do that because he's a smart guy. But if he did what he's doing now or what he did in New Japan, Vince would not get it. I mean, he just wouldn't get it. He wouldn't, and, and, and it'd be curtains for the guy. And so, um, that's an issue with both of those guys is that um he did not get their style and and you know with, with murphy i mean he's a really great wrestler i mean he's a super talented guy but outside the ring i mean as far as the personality aspect of it um you know they never got it with him and i don't i don't you know i mean i think that he's probably he probably would have been more effective in a, in a great tag team role, you know, and I guess with Seth, you know, you could say that when he was with Seth, because that was actually a pretty effective team. But, you know, that breakup with the Mysterios, it's like once they did that, um, you know, and that was such an awkward thing where, you know, it took forever and they t totally demasculinized him and then they put him with Aaliyah and then they dropped that. And he was just toast at that point. But Vince never saw it in him. You know, I mean, there were people who pushed him um, and Vince went with it. But once those people weren't there, you know, he was... He wasn't he wasn't going to be pushed. So there you go. And Alistair Black, I mean, Alistair Black is a weird one, you know, for a bunch of reasons. But the, the key one is, is literally on the 21st of May, they shot the angle, to start his feud with Big E. So on the 21st of May, they very clearly had decided they had something for him. And then, you know, I don't know. He, he didn't do anything on last week's show. With the Big E thing, all he had to do is hit that freaking black mass kick, which is a great looking kick. And it looked great when he took out Big E with it. So he didn't do nothing wrong. But there you go. You know, they, um, you know, what was also interesting is that they, um, you know, usually when they, when they cut people, they cut people. But you know that they sent out a memo to all of the, um, um, actually a text message to all the talent informing them of these cuts. Did you hear that? As opposed to calling them? No, 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 no. The town, not, not oh, the, the rest of the talent. Yeah, there was a, t a, a mass text that went out to all the talent from John Laurinaitis informing every one of the six people cut, which they've never, as far as I know, that's never been done before. I don't know what the point of it is. I mean, I don't either. Everyone maybe found out immediately via well, they already knew, but, social media. But, yeah, but I mean, maybe it's to just, I don't know. Maybe it's to send a message. I'm not sure what. It, I, I can't tell you why. I just know that it happened. Um, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, that was, I, I, you know, I mean, it showed no planning. I don't know what Big E's going to do. I guess he's going to have to pretend that that angle never happened. So uh, then. Well, uh, they got a lot of experience with that. 
Well, that's that's for sure. I mean, Ruby Riot they hadn't used. She's she's a good wrestler, and um, you know, Ruby Riot she was on get, TV two weeks ago. Yeah, but doing nothing. Well, yeah, but I mean, she got beat. She got beat, but I mean, it was, she got beat by an Italian Tamina, just like Lana. You know, it's not. But they didn't have anything. They hadn't done anything with Ruby Riot, um, and they obviously didn't plan to do anything with Ruby Riot. And I think that's been the writing on the wall for a long time. Um, but she's, you know, she'll be able to get work because there's a. You know, every company wants women wrestlers who can work, whether it's Ring of Honor, whether it's Impact. Um, you know, I could see her going to AEW. I, I could see, I, I mean, I, for sure, Ring of Honor would take her, you know, because she, she would help them out a lot. Um, you know, and, um, I'm pretty sure Impact would take her. Um, AEW, I'm not sure. Um, I think that one could go either way, but I think that there's a good shot that they would take her. I mean, you can't take everyone. Um, she's not to me a game changer, but she's very good. Um, Santana Garrett, I don't know. Um, although I do think that probably she could, she could get into, it. um, she's been in impact before. Um, I think she's another one who could pro probably get into Ring of Honor. The thing with her is, is what, what screwed her up is that she was ear earmarked for the main roster. Cause if she was in NXT, they probably wouldn't have cut her, but it was like she was on the list of the main roster, like, um, Chelsea Green and um vanessa born and then the, the decision was well we're gonna cut some people and they were the ones cut um although actually vanessa born i should take that back because she was actually cut from nxt whereas chelsea green and santana are cut on main roster day um and then uh what so who we have left that we have not discussed uh lana lana you know they could have waited a month and seen if she was super over like they pretended that she was going to be, but they gave up on her. Um, you know, I mean, Lana, you know, I mean, her best role, her best role was managing Rusev years ago. She was tremendous. They had no reason to break them up. I mean, I know, you know, everyone knows why they did, but they have no reason to do it. And um, then they tried to remake her as a wrestler and, you know, God, God bless her, you know. She can talk, um, but she's she's just not a good wrestler, you know. And and I don't. That's just the deal. Uh, she worked hard to try, but it just not everyone like you know. Not everyone's meant to be a wrestler. There are guys that aren't meant to be wrestlers that are probably better off as managers, you know. Um, and you know, with women, it's the same thing. Everyone's got their strengths, and um, she could be like you know. I mean. It's weird because as soon as she was cut, the first thing I thought is, is like, just freaking remake them. They're freaking husband and wife in real life anyway. And they'll probably be thrilled that they could be in the same company and travel together, you know, rather than being different companies, which is kind of a drag in a lot of ways. So, um, you know, I mean, it's a great act, but, you know, it's also a retread act. I don't know if they're going to want to do it, um, but I think she helped him. He, she, he was the biggest star he ever was with her. She was the biggest star she ever was with him. Um, so I would I would definitely consider that. Um, they got thirty. I mean, ninety day non competes, all of them. Um, I could see. Um, I mean, like with Buddy Murphy, the thing is, is like he, there is a there is an issue with charisma and personality with him, not in ring. Uh, but um, but obviously there's. You know, AEW is so loaded with good in-ring guys that like it's not like they don't need him, but if they could use him, you know, it's like you, you just don't want to take everyone. Now, freaking Impact, man, I would jump at that guy because you the Impact can always use a wrestler of that level. Ring of Honor, too, because Ring of Honor is built around wrestling. He would be great in Ring of Honor, but he'll, he should be able to find he should be able to find work with with somebody. Um and and black for sure you know i think everyone i think that every company out there probably wants black um because he is good in the ring he's got a unique style he's different and everything um you know i whatever i i <laughs> i mean you know his his comments were kind of whatever i mean they kind of made me laugh a lot you know it's like trying to explain that that uh the story of him at, you know he talks about the story that, that the dirt sheets are wrong because they said I wanted to go to NXT. And then minutes later, it's like, well, you know, when I, when I asked to go to NXT, it's like, do you even like fucking think? I mean, I don't know. 
um he, he he's <laughs> whatever I mean, and, and again, I, I get why all the guys, everyone, when they leave, you know, they have to kiss Vince's ass. And in some cases, you know, there's always the chance, because this is what happened with, with, with some of the other cuts, is um, after they're cut, you know, and they're, you know, they'll go back and they'll offer you a lot less money. And uh, some people will go, come back for less money and some people will, will not come back for less money. Um, so that could be part of it, too, is just a restructuring of the contract. Um, there's a lot of different things that it could be. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe some of them we brought back for less money. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, I think that, uh, Ruby Riot's got, R Ruby Riot's got a good shot of going anywhere. I mean, Murphy should have opportunities almost everywhere. Black, I think would have opportunities everywhere. Stroman's a real interesting one. I mean, because it's, it's not like, I mean, Stroman probably, I, I would think that, um, Impact would die for Strowman. Um, Ring of Honor is a weird mix, but I think that they would bring him in. AEW, um, it's an interesting one. Um, he can be their he can be their monster because he is bigger than all their guys. But I, you know, there's a I get this weird thing in the back of my head about Strowman. Um, you know, I mean, you never know. You never know. Like like. Some guys leave and they, they, you know what I mean? They get the chip on their shoulder and, and they, they do great on the indies. A lot of guys are like that. A lot of guys from WWE go on the in, indies and, and they just want a ton of money and, and don't do shit. You know, like Ryback is a perfect example of one of those guys. And I don't know which guy Strowman's going to be. Um, you know, I mean, everything that he said, makes me think that he's one of those guys who's indoctrinated to the idea that there's only WWE and everything else is Bush League. And if that's the case, I don't know what he's going to do other than perhaps, you know, wait a while and, and hope that they bring him back for less money. And they might at that point. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, he's he, he did have recent stardom. I mean, he was a pretty damn big star, you know, super over two years ago and um yet at the same time i wonder i you know it's like i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't commit anything to him if it was me i would i would um i might give him a tryout but i i wouldn't i wouldn't be so i don't, I don't know i i it, it's it is yesterday's news his style doesn't really fit in and he he will you know if it's again like for AEW, the guys that you want to get over as your monster is, as far as marketably marketable in the long run, is Wardlow, and he's much much smaller than Strowman, and Strowman will expose that he's not that big, and I don't know that I don't know that you want that, um, you know, and I don't know that Strowman would be happy coming in and and having Wardlow beat him, um, and um, going all the way with. Strowman, I mean, you just, I don't know. Mm, I don't see him as a guy, like, like who's he going to have great matches with? And again, AEW is, AEW is still, more than anything, it's about that entertaining, uh, great matches. And, um, you know, um, yeah, they got guys who are, are, are good at carrying a guy and everything like that. But in the long run, I don't know, because I think it would cost a lot of money to get him. And I don't know what his attitude would be like, and I, um, I'm just not sure of him. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to guess that they're going to jump at him, but I mean, if you look at the guys that are out there, I mean, you know, we'll forget about Danielson because it's a completely different subject. But, you know, I mean, um, you got him or Samoa Joe. You got to remember. I mean, how many guys do you want to bring in at once? And Samoa Joe is a million times more versatile, a much better talker, uh, much better at doing programs. Um, you know, I mean, it's just like you, you, to me, you know, you want to pick and choose the highlights and, and, you know, like I said, Murphy can fit a role if you got something right for him and he can always have good matches. Um, black for sure, but Samoa Joe more than any of those guys. Um, because he's already proven he can get over with that fan base and he'll get over huge with it. And, uh, Strowman also, he, he also represents a lot of what that fan base doesn't like. And, um, so I don't know. That's kind of my thought on, on him, but, uh, 
you know, I, because he's such a big star, um, or was, I should say, you know, sometimes when a guy was a big star and really was a big player, um, you make that move because he's got a name. But he's not a guy, you know, he's not, a, he's also not a guy who, you know, you put Braun Strowman on TV, it's not like he's going to help your ratings. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not, Joe probably wouldn't either. Um, but there's just so much more you can do with Joe. If, 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 you know, of course, Joe, we still don't know what the, the medical situation is with Joe. But that's another factor. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.